Hi, my name is Cameron Ware, and I run a company called Visual Worshipper. We do projection mapping, hardware rentals, and design and installation for uh, projection systems. Uh, and I'm Courtney Ware. I own my own film production company where I edit, produce, direct, and create content. We have a mutual friend, Scott Wernz, who is a local theater director for a private uh, school here in Dallas, Texas. And he asked us to combine our skills and passions with content creation and projection mapping to do something different for his latest production. So we teamed up with Renewed Vision and used a lot of their software to create a 360 degree and on the floor projection experience for Shrek the Musical. The director wanted the audience immersed in the show, so he wanted to do the entire thing in the round. And we only had a couple weeks to hang, create, and rehearse with the projection. And because of the very long list of technical challenges, we had to use every minute of those couple weeks. The entire show used 18 projectors. We did 12 all across the four walls, and then six more shooting straight down onto the stage. We controlled everything using three MacBook Pros. Each had a copy of Pro Video Player 3. Each Mac, uh, laptop also had two triple heads, and we could have, of course, done it all from one Mac Pro tower, but we didn't have that. We had three MacBook Pros. Chairs and risers were literally built into the set pieces and vice versa. This was cool and different, but also a huge challenge because there was no way to have background scenery. So Proformance Systems out of Plano, Texas is the company that built all of the sets and scenery. And we really worked hand-in-hand uh, -hand together with them to make sure that the sets and projection worked together. We knew early on that we would need to use software from a nude vision. Uh, they had just released Pro Video Player 3, and within an hour of downloading the software and just playing around with it, I knew this was going to be the easiest and best solution for what we wanted to do. So the cool thing about PVP3 is each surface had its own target, and so I was basically able to take all of the content and um, really specify and cue and line everything up. So when I was actually running the show, all I really had to do was just click one button and the entire room would transform. We for sure wanted to project on all four walls of the square room and each wall needed three projectors. And then something fun we wanted to add was six additional projectors down firing onto the stage to create floor scenery. Besides the logistical challenges of where to hang everything, the next obstacle was to solve the problem of projecting on different depths on the real set pieces. Take the castle wall, for example. A real castle was built out of wood about 8 to 10 feet away from the projection surface. Using three projectors, we could project stone on the castle and clouds in the sky behind the castle. However, if you align the three projectors on the castle, then you get an overlap of projection imagery on the sky. Using Pro Video Player 3, we created a separate target for the sky and then moved the left and right projector image away from the center projector image so that the castle and sky, they both look totally seamless. The process was super easy and simple, and honestly, we could not have done this in the time frame and with our budget without PVP3. I created all of the custom content for each surface, and the only negative side to projection-only backdrops was the lighting, of course. But Cameron was actually the lighting designer and operator, too, so it worked out great to work so closely with each other. Yeah, and the audience was, I think, just blown away. Their favorite thing was actually the imagery that we showed on the floor. Like I said earlier, we had six projectors that shot down onto the stage, and we used one computer with two triple head to goes and we connected all of those within Pro Video Player 3 and uh, rotated them so they all lined up and looked like one giant 16 by 9 image. So we would show Shrek's swamp, uh, grass, bricks, lava, anything you wanted to show on the ground. One of the cool things about the lava, we actually got to project white rocks that looked like the lava was flowing around it and the cast members would actually jump on the rocks. Um, so it was kind of cool interaction. So as you entered the theater, the audience would actually have to walk on the projection surface floor to get to their seats. So we animated a snake and a bird moving around during the walk-in, and the kids really seemed to, to enjoy that. Um, and thanks to Renewed Vision for their awesome products. Check them out.